Hello, um, my name is Juan Esparza, member of Ultimate Robotics, and today I will be talking to you about presentation tips. So here's my personal contact information just in case you have any personal questions or anything else you want to ask. I believe one of the most important tips is this one. Diversity in content, yet representation within your own presentation team. And what I mean by this is there should be a programmer, a builder, a coder. Every single member should be represented evenly. Let's say you have one girl, and 10 boys, should, you should only have one girl in the presentation team and no, don't try to add four or more or any other number that just makes you look better. Be truthful to your actual team members. Another tip, and this is a personal tip of mine that uh, I've come to develop with experience, have one speedster, one smooth talker, and one able to fill in gaps. What I mean by this is there's a lot of content you have to cover. And this one speedster gets to get through all the facts, all the knowledge, all the things you can sum up in a nice phrase or sentence, like facts about fundraising, facts about your community outreaches, all these little things that he or she has to get through as fast as possible because you are timed, you have a time limit no matter what kind of presentation you are doing. Next one is the smooth talker, someone able to introduce you, someone able to speak well but also has a role but knows how to introduce you, conclude, have someone be able to be the front man or woman. Last one one person able to fill in the gaps. You don't want to sound repetitive and the lack of transitioning makes it sound boring and almost confusing for the judges. Have someone able to transition between topics easily and almost unseen. My third point, do not memorize your speech. Rather, memorize the points you want to hit. It becomes a lot more natural and in the end, easier to remember. It's going to be hard to try to talk about topics that you don't know because you only memorize the speech. Know what you want to talk about, know the points you want to hit, and hit them. Yes, you can practice, you know, keep practicing all the points you want to hit, but don't try to memorize a speech because as soon as you forget, you're going to clam up and not really know what to say at that point. It's a lot easier, more natural when you just have points to hit. My fourth point, everyone in the presentation room is there for a reason. Let everyone speak as equally as possible so you can diversify the crowd and not make anyone seem like they know more or less than anyone else. It becomes a lot easier on the judges and looks, makes your team look a lot better. My fifth point. Despite all my last points, I still want uh, each presentation team to have a specialist ready to speak. Even though you want everyone to know everything about every subject, you still need one person who has been there for that subject, who has been there working, uh, progressing on this certain area to be ready to speak because they know what they're talking about in the end. So have one specialist ready for each one of your subjects. My sixth point, remember all the questions they ask you for any competition you compete in. Most of them fall hand in hand with each other. And it's a lot easier to practice before the competition, before you arrive with your presentation team on how to answer these questions. Don't try to memorize these answers, but definitely develop your answers as you progress through competitions. My seventh point to hit, follow the rule brick. For most presentations, you will have a rule brick that you can follow. I highly recommend you do. That's what the judges want to see, and that's what the judges will be basing their uh, criteria off. Don't be afraid to follow your own path. Obviously, you want your team to stand out, but there's a rule brick in place for a reason, because they want certain points to be hit, and you should hit them because they're telling you to hit these points. One of my last and main points, do not rely on any visual outlines or any presentations, PowerPoints, anything like that to help you present. They're there to aid the judges and not you. Of course, you can look back to them for reference and what to speak about, but don't rely on them. Don't try to read into them. It'll make you look bad and make you look like you don't know what you're saying. And my last point, have fun with it. Enjoy your presentation. It won't be even remotely possible for you to present as well as you could unless you have fun with it. Enjoy presenting. And lastly, have fun at your competitions. Feel free to ask any questions. Again, this is my personal email. And good luck out there on your robotics competition.